Hello, Collective. Welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in on the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. The judgment is final. I hope you are doing well, staying blessed and highly favored because you always are. Don't let anyone make you think otherwise. Thank you for coming back to subscribe. I mean, to support the channel, subscribe as well. Um, if you're a newcomer, thank you for watching. Come back again. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into our tarot reading. So it seems like there's some type of truth or clarity that's out. Uh, you may have someone that's taking some type of action to balance something out, maybe coming towards you with some type of offer. Maybe someone wants to have a friendship with you. This could be a masculine. Listen, this card came up and then it flipped down. So I'm going to put it downwards, okay? Uh, so someone may be wanting to uh still onto common waters with you and what i mean by that is that maybe someone has clarity about a situation that they didn't have before so maybe someone thought you were a certain way someone thought you did something to them maybe someone just has some type of misconception about you someone may have been distorted for a while due to something maybe family family members were telling him or her uh just maybe they just had a misunderstanding about a situation or maybe they just I don't know what it is, but someone is uh, having a clearer understanding of what's going on in a situation. They may be taking some type of action uh, to come towards you or to balance something out, maybe in the background of you that you are not aware of. Someone may want to have a friendship with you. Um, it's like someone wants to come towards you, but there's a family, a couple, somebody that's trying to take some type of impulsive action to stop this person. It could be a King of Cups reverse. Maybe this is someone that has a lot of emotions for you. For the, with them coming out in the reverse, that means that this is someone you probably don't have any type of fond memories of. Um, this could be someone that is just uh, like someone you want to leave in the past and forget about them. Is that uh, 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 I'm glad you awakened to your emotions or something, but I don't have time for the. Uh, silliness uh, maybe this is someone when you were with them from what i'm picking up this is someone that maybe had a lot of feelings for you but never really showed it uh with their king of cups in the reverse right so this is someone that holds a lot of uh emotions in um the king of cups reverse they typically tend to be people that are either really manipulative emotionally uh or are unemotionally unavailable or they have a lot of emotions that they tend to hide because these are people that oftentimes are not sure of themselves. This could even be someone that's struggling with with deciding who or who he wants to be with when it comes to like the side of the tracks. Um, but this is someone that may have a lot of emotions for you and wants to come towards you and give you some type of apology, have some type of closure with you. I don't know how that's going to go. Are you going to let this person talk to you? I don't know. It's going to be between you and them. Um... But someone is very determined. This could be the person that's taking action to block this uh, higher level soulmate from coming towards you. This could be like a Sagittarius that's coming towards you. This could be uh, Aries, a Leo. It could be any signs. It doesn't matter. But there is a King of Cups reverse Scorpio uh, sign that could be interfering, trying to block this person from communicating with you. So if this person, this higher level soulmate, if they are sending you emails, text messages, or anything like that, Someone is getting in there to block it and they're getting help from a family. So this could be the family of this other person, this masculine or feminine that is helping this King of Cups reverse to block all kinds of forms of communications, try to hinder this person from coming towards you. Um, so I love how the car scheme out. It's like this person is coming towards you towards you with friendship and then the knight of swords energy is in here which is this family trying to stop the person trying to still cause some type of manipulation they said no 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 you're going in the wrong direction you don't want to talk to that person we told you uh yeah they're trying to hold hold this person back 
Okay, but he's standing his ground. Someone is someone has foresight of a situation when it comes to who you are and what this karmic group has been doing behind the scenes to block him from giving you some type of offer. This could be like a king of wands that's going through this situation, but you two will meet in divine timing. Someone knows uh, what's going on now. They have a clearer understanding of a situation that has been taking place that people have been trying to hide as well. Um, and this person is putting an end to everything and this is causing a tower for these people because he's leaving either a family or an institution out in the cold and moving on with his life maybe uh investing in something new a new life a new a new journey something of that nature okay someone could have taken some type of impulsive action as well to block someone from being seen uh cause an emperor some type of heartbreak as well to interfere with some type of justice playing out some type of karma um i get i'm hearing something about like a some type of financial deposit or something. It's like someone is taking actions to block either like a, a emperor or an empress from receiving a financial payout. So let's say you're working and you're supposed to receive some type of bonus. You're working on a platform. You're supposed to receive some type of payout. You have some type of institution, the courts uh, sending you money. There's someone trying to block you from receiving that money. So if they somehow have your bank account information, they're doing something to block that account from receiving uh, deposits and things like that. So there's some type of malicious actions that's taking place behind the scenes and someone is very determined to keep you in some type of state of lack. Uh, they don't want you thriving without them is what I'm hearing. They say, if I can't be with you, then you cannot be happy without me. So someone is operating from their lower energy but whoever this higher level soulmate is this is someone that's a thinker someone is looking into something someone has gone through healing um they are you know going through some type of ascension like a spiritual ascension but someone knows the truth they have clarity they're taking charge of a situation to balance it out to bring a tomb and into it this is someone that wants to work with you they're acting from a genuine place as well this is your ancestors the universe uh Touching someone um, and enabling them to have some type of awakening, some type of uh, like light bulb moments that, oh my gosh, this is what's been going on the whole time. Everybody's been lying. So this is what the truth is. Like they don't want either me working with this person, connecting with this person, giving this to this person. So they're looking deeper into something. It could end up leading to an investigation. This King of Cups could end up facing some type of legal issues for what it is he's been doing behind the scenes. Maybe he thinks nobody knows what he's been doing. Uh, but there's an emperor. This person is an emperor. Is what I'm picking up on. There's an emperor that's removing himself from a karmic family dynamic, toxic group institution. Like he's leaving something out in the cold to have a brain brand new passionate beginning somewhere else taking a solid offer elsewhere this is someone that's very loyal very committed um uh, like this is someone that thinks about things before they get into them uh, so like the knight of pentacles those are people who before they give you an offer they think about it for quite a long time because those are people that don't like disappointment they don't like to fail they want to make sure that whatever it is they're investing their time in it is worthwhile because it took a lot of work time effort and energy to get to where it is that they are so if they're taking anything out of their life to give to you whether that be emotion attention finances resources whatever it is they're going to make sure they are 100% sure that they want to give that to you before they give you that offer because they don't want to be disappointed. They want to make sure they're giving it to the right person. Uh, someone could just now be kind of getting into that energy. Maybe this is something they made a mistake with in the past. Maybe that's why it's taking so long or has taken so long for them to give you something. And I don't think it's, it's really it really has taken long because the uh, time is irrelevant on a universal scale, right? Um, so this is coming to you in divine timing. So it's not late. It's not early. It's just the right time, okay? Um, there is something I'm also hearing where is there, there could be another emperor, like an emperor in reverse. Maybe it's this King of, Cup, King of Cups reverse or another emperor reverse, maybe a King of Swords that interfere uh by the direction of possibly a queen of pentacles or a queen of wands reverse 
Um, you were supposed to receive some type of financial maybe assistance in the past and these people may have gotten together to make sure that you don't receive that. Uh, and that is because they wanted to have some type of victory over you. Like these people want to have some type of control over your life. And all of this is backfiring. If there's a court case that comes out of this, these people are going to be losing miserably. It's like a bunch of people voluntarily throwing their lives away for whatever reason, solely probably because of either jealousy or just some type of common hate for one person that hasn't done anything to them and this could be a king of a queen of cups that they've been hating and trying to block there's an emperor out here that's been doing a little bit too much and i think i've mentioned this before on my um on my platform i keep seeing someone that is interfering like this like hacking into different systems and i don't know why this person is hacking into different systems but you've left some type of signature that cannot be erased so i don't know if maybe you felt invincible because you had like some type of uh vpn or whatever this is that was on but you've left some type of uh, uh, signature online uh, and it's not just one thing it's multiple things that you've left online as far as as far as like a trail that's leading right to your doorstep um and this is going to lead to you having some type of court case coming up and you're not going to win that court case because it is going to be some type of evidence um, that is irrefutable. It's not something you can deny. It's not something you can pretend like you don't know about. Um, imagine like kind of pulling something up and it has someone's first, la first, middle, last name on there, social security number, address, email, everything on there. Talking about they were logged in at this time of the day. They did this activity. They did like, like I'm talking about everything just, and someone may have multiple of these uh, kind of information or data or something like that on you, but you felt so comfortable doing something and that's because you've been doing it for a long time and nothing has been said to you, nothing has been done. So you've gotten, gotten really comfortable to be doing it over and over and over again. Um, and the reason no one has said anything to you is because they've been watching you from afar. There's something you've been doing for a long time, but this time it's kind of too late for you to even like just act like you don't know about it even if you try to flee like it's kind of too late to do something but there's someone or like a someone in law enforcement or just someone very wise has been watching you and sees how you move and what you've been doing it's like a hacker being hacked and they don't know that they're hacked by the time they find out that they're hacked it's too late you feel me so it's that by the time they find out they're hacked they're trying to delete stuff they're trying to erase stuff burn evidence and it's a uh that whoever hacked you like they have copies of all the files so you can delete all you want you can burn all you want you can erase, wipe, do whatever you want, but they have copies of everything, okay? So I don't know, it's, like, it's basically like what I'm saying, a hacker being hacked because someone thought they were very sophisticated how they were doing something, but they don't realize that someone, yeah, they thought they were very, very uh, sophisticated, but someone has had awareness of what it is you've been doing or a group of people have been doing for a long time. What I'm also hearing is that a group of people, members of this group or community may have been distancing or have chosen to kind of walk away from something, but there's one specific person that has chosen to keep going on something. And this is what has led to his like downfall because their ego just, he doesn't know how to tolerate how to like let go. Someone does not know how to let go. Someone thinks like they're in some type of battle with another person that does not even have awareness of them. It's like they're not paying the other person any mind, but this person is very determined to destroy that person that has no awareness of them or is just choosing to disregard. It's kind of like having a hands off kind of approach to something because you're kind of trusting the universe to step in, reveal the truth and balance the situation out. And that's what is going on basically. So it's like someone coming out here and saying that you did this to them. You're this way, you're that way, you're alive you're a cheater you're a scam uh you sell yourself all kinds of stuff maybe someone even may have said that you were pregnant you were married you're in a relationship all kinds of lies right and then people find out that everything this person has been saying is a lie and now 
their ego, instead of them going within and self-actualizing and seeing that they made a mistake um, and trying to turn a new lead. They don't, you don't always even have to go to the person that you try to destroy and apologize. Just maybe even sometimes just stop doing something and move on with your life. Like go find something better to do with your time. Right. But this person here is like their ego kicked in. So they're like, well, I don't care if nobody supports me. I'm still going to keep doing this. And something has led to like their ending. Someone is about to lose everything. When I say everything, everything someone's about to be homeless broke like probably unemployed someone may have either gotten fired from a job already or they're about to be fired from a job um and there's a family that's chosen not to even affiliate or associate excuse me with this person because it's just too dangerous at this point because someone's mental it's not healthy. It's not where it's supposed to be. They're very pissed off that two people are coming together and having some type of new beginning. And these are two people that are very gifted. You may be a high priestess, priestess that this man, like this um, temperance, this higher level soulmate is coming towards to work with, give some type of offer to, and it's very solid. This is a solid offer from someone. Um, someone may have been paying as well. If I keep picking up that this may be like a king of wands, king of pentacles energy. Someone has been paying to have you blocked behind the scenes, okay? So I don't know if you have like Maybe it's a wife, a girlfriend, concubine, whatever you want to call them, possibly another masculine. They are paying someone to stop you, to block you. Uh, it may be some type of even illegal investigation taking place to have you confined in some type of situation. So you need to throw with caution. There's some type of bitter king of swords. It could be this King of Cups is doing something. Um, they're misusing their networking, network connections. I don't know how to say that. They're misusing their connections within the justice system to kind of try to set you up skin, uh, uh, set you up for fraud, make it look like you did something you didn't do. So stay vigilant at this time because your your neck is on the chopping block, basically. Um so just throw it with caution. It's a lot of illusions. People may be surveilling your life, your privacy in your phones, your computers and things like that. Uh, if you have a way to undo all of those, I would take the actions to do them. Uh, maybe ask for some type of uh, protection or make sure you are talking to someone to make sure that you are safe. Um, but they're paying to have you blocked and keep you from meeting with someone okay giving to someone having some type of closure with someone and they don't want this love coming together these are people who are very pissed off about two people coming together because they've put they've invested a lot into causing these blockages and hindrances and stalemates and just confusion and conflict lying manipulations they've done a lot right so um after everything they've done you can imagine people doing something for maybe a couple of years five years is something to block two people from coming together and it's like i've done all this and you're telling me they're still coming together and for some reason it's pissing someone off i don't know if they're not thinking that hey i'm the one that got myself into this situation i should have never even tried to stop these two from coming together working together or something um but people already know right the illusions everything okay there could be a high priestess within the mix that's causing some type of illusions uh this could be like a false high priestess queen of wands energies energy that's still out here causing some type of illusion because you want someone to choose her or see her in some type of light and this woman has been carrying on this persona for a long time and the person that she's trying to manipulate i think by this time they already know with this ace of source out here they already know what is going on so i don't even know why you would keep trying to pretend that something is not what it is you ever like you know like when you are around people and you think they're genuine for the longest time um, and you are very open with them, laughing with them, all kinds of stuff. You trust them and things like that, only for you to find out it's a whole fraud. It's a fraudulent situation. Um, and then you, they know that you know, but they're still trying to carry on the show. It's like the show goes on, but it's like, no, the show does not go on. You got to cut it. You can't keep pretending. You can't keep lying that you're genuine. Okay. Um, but this woman wants you to choose her for some type of offer some type of new beginning so she's been out here trying to block someone else's new beginning uh it's quite it's quite the adventure this woman has been on because we've been keeping up with her for the past three months 
and it's quite the adventure okay uh i don't know if you're taking some type of action that's going to put an end to something uh there could be a group collaborating to put an end to something because a tower but there's some type of revelation going on you may be taking some I, i'm not going to say that i'm going to leave that but i know from what i'm seeing is that you're looking into something you know the truth i'm telling you okay you know the truth now what has really been going on this uh queen of wands out here has been taking a lot of reckless actions behind the scenes this is someone very impulsive someone very uh <clears throat> empty is the word i just heard very empty don't care about anybody this nothing grows with this woman it's nothing but death like the plague um, people don't thrive around this woman. There's no creativity spark, nothing. I don't know if you are in a relationship with this woman and the love is gone. Maybe you love this person and they didn't love you back. It was not It was not a relationship of reciprocity. So maybe you found out the truth and you're putting an end to this uh, connection with her, but she does not want it to end. So she's still out here manipulating. Someone has a lover on the side. Could be a king of cups that she's been dealing with and dealing with you as well. Um, but I don't know if like everything is coming out about this whole situation, which is why you're putting an end. You are, you could be an emperor, like I mentioned earlier, and this is typically how emperors move. Once they find the truth out about a situation, baby, it ain't no if, ends, buts about it. They ain't thinking about it. No, it's not. I'm thinking about it. I don't know about us. I'm not sure about us. Emperors, empresses are very direct. They're either 100% sure about you or they don't, they ain't fooling with you at all. And this woman here with this death coming before her, you're unsure about her. So you're leaving her out in the cold. And that's typical of an emperor. It's, they don't care. They don't care. If you said you're A, they expect you to be A. If you say you're B, they expect you to be B. If they come and find out you're not B, you're F, they don't want to fool with you. You've already broken their trust. There's something here about a trust being broken, okay? Um, there could be people taking some type of reckless or impulsive action, trying to destroy something and something for someone, and it's going to backfire. This group has been doing something for a very long time, um, and this is what's being looked into. There's some type of investigation. The whole group is being looked into. How they were taking actions to end an uh, actual Queen of Cups that's in the upright, Okay, they were being led by either a Queen of Pentacles reverse or a Queen of Cups reverse or a Queen of Pen Queen of Wands reverse. But there's something being looked into. The truth has been spoken, and people are looking into it. It could be officials looking into something. A community or a group of friends are about to be investigated for trying to steal and cause a lot of deception about someone's work. Maybe this woman has been stealing someone's um. Uh, creativity someone's intellectual property these people have been pretending like something belongs to them um and now this person this higher level soulmate wants to come in and balance something out and they're taking action to block this person they may even be taking action to come to you physically like someone wants to have word to word word to word with you like like some type of face-to-face -face interaction and it's not even something that's mature at all this is like someone in like their lower energy energy acting like a child wants to come to a grown woman and have some choice words with her like girl come on like we all joke about stuff but to really be taking action to go towards someone like come on you, you gotta be bsing me like really uh, she's trying to block a relationship. Like they are trying to block a relationship from coming into being. They're trying to stop someone from moving on. But this person is still moving on. Like someone is in like a seven of wands energy. Like they're standing their ground. They don't care who says what, who doesn't say what, who does what. This man does not care at this point because this is someone that has healed. Okay, I see him going from like a pitch of cups to a, a temperance energy. This is someone that has healed. He has invested a, a lot into himself. And that is why he's putting an end to some type of situation with a queen of wands reverse. Okay. And he's moving fast. Um, you yourself, you the queen of wands upright. You're about to be going through some type of um, acceleration in life. Like you're moving forward to victory. Some type of offers coming into you that these people have been blocking for a long time. It's almost like this masculine taking action, trying to bring something towards you or give you something. And every time he tries to, this group, 
gets in there to interfere. If they know, I don't think you should do this, or they're doing something behind the scenes to make it look like you're unfit. You don't deserve to receive that offer. You're not worth investing into. You're not worth the relationship. You're not worth the time. You're not worth the friendship. It is just a friendship because I see the page of cups, the knight of cups out here, excuse me, is that it's not worth it. You're going to be wasting your time. This is a fraud. You don't want to be dealing with this person. It's a whole lot of manipulations, basically, to cause someone a heartbreak, uh, telling a lot of lies. This woman could have been pretending out here to be something that she's not. Um, you know, like, uh, like there's something about someone pretending going to a very far, like a far extent to pretend to be something that they are not and it is not going in their favor is that someone trying to study another person and take on their essence take on their personality it's so eerie when you are in your lower energy you don't see things the way you're supposed to so when you're taking certain actions you don't really see how they come across so you think copying someone else's personality or the way they do things is like a, it's so clever but then when people with like Common sense, look at you, they kind of tend to just feel sorry for you because you really don't understand what it is you're doing, the ramifications, how you look, like how immature it looks. And it just tells people like a loud statement that you are unsure of yourself, you're insecure. And then top of that with the fact that you are trying to copy someone but trying to destroy them. This is like someone that is stalking someone. Basically, this is like a, a fan, <clears throat> like a groupie stalking someone slandering them <clears throat> but then pretending to be them like i don't get the mindset this is someone like the complete opposite of whoever she has been stalking so it's like you become the groupie of someone because this is i've been seeing the social media card out a lot so this is someone if you're like on a platform she is more than likely like the first to, to watch everything you post because this is someone that has to stay on top of everything like she needs to know what it is you're saying what it is you're doing where you're going what you're wearing all of that so that she can embody that as well so this is more than likely your number one fan um and maybe you don't even know but everything is being exposed someone is out here angry because you're getting you're receiving some type of solid commitment from someone that actually wants to work with you, someone that's actually interested in you, someone that sees you as very genuine, very compassionate, uh, very nurturing, right? Because they're seeing you with like that night of cuffs energy. You're someone that's a friend, a good friend, a genuine friend, very honest, straightforward, direct. Um, maybe sad that maybe there's some type of there is some type of distance that was placed between the two of you, um, but they're taking actions to heal something, balance something out, and they're very determined to get in contact with you to give you this offer someone may be romantically interested in you or maybe they have an opportunity for you in a community um, and it's going to be something that's like a new beginning for you when you do this it will be very abundant very successful for you so some of you could end up moving relocating or something of that nature and it has someone very burdened whoever this woman is and that King of Cups reverse, they're very burdened about you being seen, right? So they've, they've been taking actions behind the scenes every day. Every time you post, they're taking actions trying to figure out how to stop you. And here comes your ancestors talking about, hey, listen, we got you. You don't need to be worried about nothing. But literally every time you post, they're taking some type of action to block you from being seen. To block your fans from having, like your supporters. I don't like this the word fan. To block your supporters from having access to your content and things like that. Like they're worried about things being balanced out for you. Like justice playing out, karma playing out. And it's going to play out because at the end of the day, you and whoever you're supposed to be having this reciprocity with, uh, manifesting this new reality with, it is going to be taking place. And it's something that's about to happen quick. You may not be even expecting this. Uh, listen, there it goes. I'm telling you, you may not be expecting this, but it's about to happen. Uh, this King of Cups reverse. I don't know if he was part of this community or he's been into some type of he's been in some type of relationship that he does not want to be a part of anymore. I don't think this is a King of Cups in the upright. I think this is someone that is absolutely emotionally manipulated so they may want to come in and give you some type of offer before this higher level soul may mix it to you. If you are aware of who that person is, maybe I will cut that sucker out. Cold. Like, yeah, I'm telling you, cut them out. Like, stand your ground. Stop them from playing with your time, playing on your tablet. Like, tell them I don't got time for that nonsense. I wish you well. Be gone.
okay like someone has been sitting back this what i'm hearing also is someone has been sitting back and watching something play out uh watching maybe even people come after you and things like that with this knight of swords out here in the queen of wands this person has been sitting back and watching people come after you doing all kinds of nonsense to you attacking you and all kinds of stuff right and now there's someone that is actually in the upright high honor has put in the work someone that's balanced wants to work with you this person wants to take some type of impulsive action and come in to give you a love offer that is not even genuine this is someone that's coming in yeah they're just worried that you're going to be successful so that's why they're trying to come in to cause some type of illusion temper with your strength confuse you so that you don't take action to move on but your ancestors have clarified things to you that you need to stick to your path okay do not accept an offer from the king of cups reverse it'll be absolutely detrimental to your future your path think about you kind of ending a karmic cycle because we all go through these karmic cycles but imagine yourself ending a, a successfully completing one of these karmic cycles and then someone is able to come in and manipulate you to get you into that same karmic cycle with them so it's like you're starting it over basically it's what someone is doing you've done the work i'm telling you you've done the work to you this is your opportunity to have this new beginning could be with a king of wands um which is what i've been picking up on or could be a king of pentacles or it could be the king of wands who is a king of pentacles it don't matter uh, but this is someone that's choosing some type of new path in his life he has gone within may have went and sought some type of advice um from someone that's wise right someone that's a professional they went to a professional to seek some type of advice and they are choosing to come in and work with you so you two can build this ten of pentacles together and this is something that's divinely meant to be okay it has taken a lot of strength to get to this point there's still a little bit more going on but everything will work out in the favor of the both of you you will be able to move on and this has people worry again about you two being successful together you two have having uh, a lot of options when it comes to like opportunities blessings abundance and things like that career opportunities uh, streams of incomes and things like that people are very burdened and they're worried at the fact that you two are so disciplined the both of you are kind of the same so it's like you reflect each other's energy and it has people kind of worried because you put you two are basically out here like ascended masters and like there's nothing people can really really do to distract you because this is what they're trying to do is to keep him trapped in some type of toxic relationship and he's done with that um but these people are very envious of the two of you being together the fact that this person know that you are actually a queen of cups well whoever queen of cups he was with the queen of cups reverse she may be going on some type of trip again to to a uh, 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 um she may be taking some type of action again to try to steal something from someone. This is something this woman has been doing for a long time, trying to steal something that does not belong to her because she's very envious of our relationship, a uh, divine relationship. Um, but someone is about to lose everything. I don't know what is wrong with these people at this end. At this point, I feel like at this point, it's just something that's for entertainment uh, for the universe because the, at this point, the universe has already made judgment. Everything is finalized. Uh, there's nothing these people can do to undo the decisions that have been made by the Lord, by the spirit, by the universe, whatever you want to call that supreme being. That is the reason why we are here. There's nothing you all can do to undo those decisions. It's already been made. So at this point, you are really just wasting your time. But there's a truth out about your work, who you are, uh, how skilled you are. Okay, people will be interested or people are interested in working with you. There's also a group where the truth is out about them and how they've been planning to end a queen of wands in the upright from being able to move forward, from being able to have abundance, get married, from being able to connect with other people, right? So if you have, a, let's say, your social media, as I mentioned earlier, your subscribers, your uh, followers and things like that, they have been trying to separate you and those people from being able to interact with one another, blocking your content from those people so that they're not able to view it and things like that. There's something really malicious that has been playing out for a long time i'm not sure how or why it took this person forever to find this truth out maybe they've been living in a cloud or or living under a rock or something i don't know it don't matter they know the truth now 
and they're taking action to look into something, balance something out. They may want to communicate with you. You may have some type of good news coming in where it's like they're going to be telling you what it is that's been going on. Someone is coming in with like the cold hearted truth because they want to work with you. So they know that they cannot build anything of longevity with you if they come in telling you some type of lie. So when someone comes in and you end up meeting with them in divine timing, they are going to be straightforward with you because they know that's your energy but they also know that even though you are sharp as a two-edged sword you're someone very genuine like a good friend a, a confidant someone that'll back you back other people up that they um care about and things like that you're like an advocate you advocate for people whether it's at work school church whatever it is that you do on your leisure time you will advocate for anyone that you need to, regardless of what it is they've done to you. Right is right, wrong is wrong, and this person knows that, and they love that about you. So this is why they are wanting to communicate with you to let you know about a contract, an offer. Uh, they may even have a few questions to ask you and things like that about why something ended or have something to tell you about why something ended or why something played out the way that it played out. But uh, it'll be absolutely something that will be essential for the both of you and life changing after you have this conversation. Uh, you'll have a decision if you want to work with this person or if you want to move on. Either way, the universe is going to support you in whatever it is that you want uh, to do with your your um do with this situation, your life, what, what type of path you want to take because you have the authority to change your path at, at any time in life. No one has control of that, okay? Um, but someone may be advocating for you now behind the scenes because of the truth that they know and they're balancing something out as well with a community. Um, it's that like they're trying to... Is that someone is, I don't know if they're in between a rock and a hard place or they're just try. they're just choosing to do things the right way, like to balance something out so that when they either leave a situation, a community, they have no reason to look back or to go back there. Or they're, uh, what I just heard is they are taking action to remove the bad nuts out of the community so that you can receive some type of offer to go and work in that community because they don't want any problems. I'm pretty sure with someone going to that extent to make sure that you feel secure within a community, they may, they think very highly of you then. Like they think very highly of your work if they are going to that extent to make sure that you are happy, you are fulfilled, uh, secure, and feel uh, productive and some feel like someone is contributing uh, a lot to that community. The fact that they're going through the trouble to remove all of these people, put an end to all of their actions, their intentions, and things like that. It's basically like a group of people being fired from a from a company. Like they didn't know they were being looked into and they're being fired. Dang. And they're not ready for this. They're not ready for this. They're not ready for this at all this is not some, yeah they're about to be fired and let go about to be going through blockages still miss all kinds of confusion everything they were trying to manifest for you basically is what they're about to be going through um there could be a king of pentacles out here that's heartbroken about some type of communication he may have sent as well or maybe he didn't send the communication um but there's some type of di uh distress a king of pentacles is going through and it has to do with some type of letter that he either sent to an institution um, and it has come back to kind of buy him in the behind. It's almost like someone sending some type of communication about your work or something and not knowing the truth. Um, and then they find out that you're actually genuine. You're not what they thought you were or who they were told you were and there could be some type of karma playing out. Someone may have taken some type of action to do you something. And now they're going through some type of heartbreak. I don't know what it is. Someone is in distress. Okay, they're in distress. But whoever is coming in to give you this offer, they know. They, 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 they have their eyes on you. They see you. Okay. There's something being hidden from you. Yeah, something's being hidden from you. Dang. Whoever that Queen of Cups reverses, you're about to be going through it. These people could already be going through it. 
But this, uh, yeah, they're going through it right now. They're very unhappy that you're receiving this uh, Ace of Pentacles from an emperor that, that is listening to his intuition. Like, deep down, he knows, like, it's time to put an end to some type of karmic chapter with an institution. Like, he's successfully completing a chapter with this institution. Could be a marriage as well. And he's choosing to balance things out and give you some type of offer to have a new beginning elsewhere. Yeah, you're going to be very victorious, very successful. The, whoever this man is, because this is this is a masculine energy I'm picking up on. Whoever this is is coming towards you. Baby, this is someone that plans. He plans and plans and plans and plans. Dang, someone's very strategic. And that is why things are going in his favor. Things are being balanced out. And there's a king of swords that's very afraid behind the scenes. Oh my gosh. Like, honey, I don't know what these people are going through, but I'm going to get out of this energy. Thank you all for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.